Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA and Shimmer news from last week. I'm Alexander and this time we'll keep it short. First up, Asa Dalbon, Mariana de la Roche and Laura Kaitazzi from the IOTA Foundation and Robert Daikin from Nakama have published an article on apolitical.co. It discusses various use cases and benefits of blockchain in government areas such as identity management, voting, registry management and transparency. Blockchain can help improve the security, integrity and efficiency of government services, fight corruption and increases citizens' trust in government institutions. Some examples and projects from different countries that have already successfully implemented blockchain technology in government are also listed. Jena Tech is listed as an example. The IOTA Foundation and the United Emirates continue to flirt with each other. This meeting follows on from the last Probably Nothing episode. Dr. Tani Ahmed Al Sayodi, the Minister of Foreign Trade, tweets a clip from a call. Among them are three representatives from the IOTA Foundation, a caller called Emirates Angels, which could possibly stand for Business Angels, and Kayam Keki Unwala, a security expert and lawyer. Dom himself tweeted that they are determined to play a key role in the digital transformation and economic growth of the United Emirates. Deeper Finance announced a partnership with Pite Network. For this they have published a Medium article where they reiterate the importance of accurate data in the financial sector. PositiveBlockchain.io is hosting its 5th anniversary event and co-organizator is the IOTA Foundation, represented by Mariana de la Roche and Christian Sauer. The whole thing runs from 1st to the 3rd of June in Berlin. The IOTA Foundation will present the Touchpoint program. TanglePay tweets how a future with a web free chat will be. The chat will be free of charge and you would only have to deposit Shimmer as storage. But then the data would no longer be stored centrally. When asked when this would start, the answer was soon. David Sunstabo joined Space5. Space5 tweeted on Monday, the amount of the investment is 1 million euros. The financial means can certainly accelerate and improve the development of the young platform. A very nice and good move by David. Taxes, taxes and taxes again. Many are afraid of this word. The IOTA Foundation has conducted an internal video on this topic with Dr. Max Bernd from Blockfit.io. Of course, this is not tax advice and it's about internal regulation and the major developments at this moment. The biggest piece of information you can take away is DYOR. Do your own research. And the latest assembly figures are also there, you can trust me here. 98 million ISMB were distributed in the 6th of 8th round and there are still 78 days left in this round. On the 7th of June there is another event, Blockchain Week, represented by Mariana de la Rocha. The topic is how can Europe deal with the risk arising from DLT use cases in financial services without stifling innovation. TanglePay has provided a new update, 155. This has got extended ledger support after the last EVM update. There is now pin unlocking and many bug fixes. This is also a paper this time. It was written by Alhamdulillah with the title Using IOTA for Energy Efficient and Lightweight Internet of Drone Network and will be published in IEEE IT Professional in July or August. In the last episode there was supposed to be a big Shimmer EVM upcoming with a reset. This has now been postponed. Additional changes will be made. Many will be annoyed now, but rather one big update than several small ones that don't work. The protocol group has also been busy. The Parameter Task Force is working on fixing bugs and improving throughput. Options for calculating the reference mana costs are being discussed and measures are being taken to increase validator throughput. In the incentives section, mathematical checks are being carried out and committee rotation and conflict resolution are being discussed. The goal is stable and efficient blockchain. That's it for this short but sweet episode. What do you say to the new format? Should I keep doing this with the videos or should I go back to the roots? Let me know. See you next time. Bye bye.